So pretty much on the very day the WX78 slash rework updates released, someone in the comment sections pointed out something really interesting to me, and I pointed it out to you. Apparently, with some circuit trickery, we are now able to farm infinite ice with WX. Now I thought that was pretty cool, but I also forgot about it, even though I literally posted it in my own pinned comment. But Cade here just yesterday reminded me of the fact. So here we are today to talk about just that. It'll be short, it'll be sweet, and I have no idea if it's gonna be useful. But Bronze Bot here was indeed the very first person to actually bring this to any of our attentions. And I had to go digging quite far to find this post. So I believe it needs a little spotlight action, if you know what I mean. So thank you very much, Bronze Bot for using that noggin of yours and somehow figuring this out. But now it's time to see if it's actually going to be worth it. So what are we going to need here, folks? Well, the obvious, a refrigerant circuit. Only one, though, which is nice. So we need four biodata and one blue gem, and of course, to scan a certain thing to unlock the recipe. And what exactly can we scan for the refrigerant circuit, you ask? Well, there's the deer clops, if you really want to go through that hassle. Or you can choose the far simpler, potentially way faster method of getting the refrigerant scan. Ice hounds, everybody. Yes, indeed. Much better option. And of course, we need water balloons, folks, which might be obscure in and of themselves. But we have two options if we want to get some. Number one, a science machine, mosquito sacks, and ice for four per craft. Or we can just take straight up mosquito sacks to a pond to fill them up one at a time to become water balloons. A mechanic I bet a lot of folk have no idea even exists. But here we go. And then it becomes as simple as dousing yourself with an endless shower of water balloons, everyone. Two ice each time it looks like two, which is amazing. This might be one of the only ways to farm infinite ice in the entire game in any season whatsoever, including summer. But there is an obvious glaring issue. Um, I'm freezing throughout all this. You are definitely going to want something to counter that. Guys, we'll still be able to freeze in summer surrounded by two furnaces. So yes, there's a downside to farming infinite ice this way. But a furnace or a fire will keep you alive after you are done farming some ice though, everyone. You need to drop below 21 wetness as quickly as possible. Otherwise, you're going to be losing 18 health every 20 seconds on top of freezing. But speaking of exactly that, does this have the opportunity to potentially cancel exactly that, if you know what I mean? Like, say you're just in spring, you're really wet, you have absolutely nothing to counter wetness for whatever reason, but you do have a thermal circuit, and you also have water balloons for some reason. Let's say you equip them, and you just use them on yourself, right? Like this, boom. Now I'm actually only at one wetness, and not 40 or 50. Hmm, there's potential here. It is just very situational. But then again, everybody, let's remember that if we stay wet for too long, we're also going to start losing charge. So if we start losing charge while we're farming ice, we can't really farm ice anymore. That's why you probably want to rapid fire through as many water balloons as you can so you don't really run into this issue. Again, everybody, this is a cool mechanic but I don't think it's gonna be all that useful. That said, when I first heard about this mechanic and then saw this post by BronzeBot, I thought it was flippin' awesome, and it was gonna open the door to many other obscure mechanics with these new circuits. The issue is, it's been a week, and we haven't heard anything else. Maybe there is something out there, and we just haven't discovered it yet, but BronzeBot here really did find the only way to farm ice in summer, so that's a bonus. It's very cool, it's very neat, it has potential, I just don't really see it being a thing, if you know what I mean. But I wanted to make it more of a thing than it is now, so I hope you enjoyed this little quick bit, folks. Thanks for watching, well wishes to all, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.